Hi guys. Had a comment from Safir Dalaf asking if I could do a car that is 20 centimetres long by 17 centimetres wide. But he didn't mention what sort of power it should have, whether it was rubber bands or electric motor or anything like that. So um, I'm going to do one anyway. Right, I'm going to make some wheels from pop bottle tops and I'm going to make them using an idea by Orlando Martinez. He suggested that we cut the threaded section off the top of the bottle and use that to join two bottle caps together. Now, I've done it but to do it I had to trim down the size of the bottle top. But I'll do one just so you can see how it works. And then I'll use these wheels on that project. That works. The edge isn't particularly neat. But uh, it's quicker than trying to saw them. Right, we're just cutting the top off this bottle. Just the threaded bit. job. Just not a very neat edge. I wonder if I can trim that with a bit of sandpaper. another wheel. I think I need to trim that one a little bit. Okay, we need one more. Right, do some cutting out. Okay, that's our chassis. So, I'm going to mount my axles in these drinking straws. If you remember, I said that Safir Delaf, who gave me this project, 20 centimetres by 17 centimetres, didn't mention what sort of power supply it should have. So I think I might just stick a balloon on it. So it'll be a balloon powered car. Right, so I'm going to tape my tubes, drinking straws, in place. I'm going to use this very wide tape for no other reason than I happen to have some. You could use ordinary tape. But I just found this in my box so I'm going to use it. It's a bit big actually, it's going to cover over my writing. But, uh, that should be alright. Cut it to the right length. Right, 
right, that's the wheels in place. Obviously need to trim off the excess so it fits within the 17 centimetres. And then we'll put a balloon on top and see how far it goes. Right, I've added a piece of cardboard on the back with a hole in it that this tube will go through. And what I'm going to do is put this balloon on this tube and a couple of rubber bands on it to hold it in place put the tube through the hole and put some more rubber bands on it and that will stop it sliding through ok, now I'll blow the balloon up Five meters. Okay, summary time. We've got a bit of card that I cut to 20 centimeters by 17 centimeters. We've got wheels made out of uh, pop bottle tops. Um, there's actually eight pop bottle tops and each pair of them is joined together by using the screw top from the pop bottle uh, we've stuck a flap of cardboard on the front and we've poked a balloon through it and we've just made it go five metres did I miss anything? Oh, the um, axles are sitting in drinking straws and the axles are actually barbecue skewers. And I'm just thinking I might go upstairs and do one quick modification to try out a different form of propulsion. Okay, things have escalated a little bit now. So I've now got one of my flower canes on there and we got three rubber bands ok, so if I release it there we go five metres I'd better do a summary for this one as well right then, summary of this version Changes to the balloon powered car are that I've got a bit of ball pen here. Inside that I've got a piece of flower cane. Taped onto the end of it is a bit of bent paper clip. Taped onto the back of the ball pen tube is another bent bit of paper clip. The ball pen tube is taped onto the cardboard chassis with quite a lot of packing tape there. It's needed a bit of strength. So what we now have is a push rod powered car. Very simple. The rubber bands connected onto the hooks we stretch the rubber bands like that and we let it go so that's version 2 of the 20 centimetres by 17 centimetres car.